All right, so today we're going to be working on uh, this face manipulation project. And this is just a quick little project to kind of get you used to your, uh, your uh, manipulation tools. So if you take a look at this, um, you see that I have a bunch of numbers and I have a face that's all garbled up. So it's all mixed up. Uh, first thing that we need to do is we need to locate our layers. So if you can find it on here, my layers are located right here at the bottom. Uh, on the right hand side. Uh, if you can't find your layers, you can go to Window and go down to Layers, and then you can make sure Layers is on. You can also click that. You can also click F7, which will bring up your layers. All right, so I located my layers. Uh, so first thing I see, I'm gonna go to number one. So whenever we see something like this where the eyes you've taken a picture and the eyes turn red or they turn like a real uh, yellowish color the, you can go in there and fix those so the easiest way is to find your red eye tool it's, well, it's probably eight tools from the top so one two three four five six seven eight and then you can right click and there's our red eye tool so i got to make sure that i'm on the correct layer right now i can't mm -hmm. click anything because I don't have my layer selected, so it gives me a little, uh, I can't, a little circle with a cross through it saying that I can't do it. So I'm gonna go find the layer where the, the dots are on. So what I can do is I can click on the dots to see where they are, and I see it's on generic. So I'm gonna use my red eye tool. I'm not gonna drag. Um, if you click and drag like this, it works, but it's not what you wanna do. Um, you want to just click right in the center of the eye and it'll take away all the red. All right. So I'm going to click once in each eye and then it gets rid of the red. Next thing I'm going to do is go to number two. This is going to be my spot healing brush tool. And the spot healing is good for removing wrinkles and uh, blemishes on the skin. But it's also good for fixing things like um, landscapes and other things that like bushes and whatnot. So I'm going to just clean up some of these uh, smile lines, lines on the face with uh, my spot healing. So make sure that you're using your spot healing um, instead of the healing brush tool. Spot healing allows you to not select the point while the healing brush tool you have to select somewhere else on the screen before you use it. So I'm just going to go like this. And usually the smaller lines are a little bit better. I'm going to do the same on this side. I don't want it to be completely smooth. but I like it to be, I'm going to get rid of some of those lines there. All right, so I got rid of her smile lines, and I see a little freckle I'm going to get rid of as well. All right, so next thing, I'm on step three. So I got to remove this nose and put it uh, where the other nose is, or actually just remove the nose, because there's already another nose, so I'm not going to be hiding it. So for this one, I'm going to go with my patch tool. So the patch tool works by allowing you to select something and then finding a, an area that's, that you wanna fill that space that you selected with. And then it goes and, and it blends the pixels, pixels around the edge so that it matches the area that it was taken from. So I'm gonna just draw a, uh, a marquee around my nose and my forehead. And then I'm gonna drag it down to my cheek where I have enough real estate. So I need an area that I have enough space to um, to grab and fill that area. So it came out really nice. If it doesn't come out perfectly, we can go back to our, our spot healing tool. And I'm gonna adjust my brush size by hitting my right bracket. And then I'm just gonna fix some things that on here that I didn't think came out too nicely. All right, too nice. All right, so I have number three is done. So one, two, three are done. And I'm going to go to number four, which is these lips down here at the bottom. So for four, I'm going to go to my content aware move tool. So you got to know which tool to work works for uh, the best situation. So here I have my move tool. I'm just going to select it. Actually, I, I think I actually think I have this selection. So. Um, before we do that, let's go to select because I think I set this up ahead of time. So select and go down to load selection and we're going to change the channel to lips. All right. So a load selection means a selection that you've already set up ahead of time 
maybe you did it for a project a while ago and you just reusing it so we already have this selection so I'm gonna load that selection so I'm gonna click uh, load selection so I went to my select menu I'll do it again select and then load selection uh, sometimes it's called a saved so saved selection and then we go to my lips click OK and I already have that nice selection around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I don't have extend on in my options bar so I'm up here at the top my options bar I want to make sure it says move so that I can drag it and it should replace the old one. So I'm gonna move it to the face, figure out where it looks best, maybe like right here, and I'm gonna let go. Um, it doesn't do anything until I come up to the top of my screen where my options bar is again, across here, and I click my check mark. And it should take that area down here and blend it in, which it did, and move my lips. So I'm gonna hit con con Control D to deselect, or I could go select, deselect at the top there or I can right click and say uh, deselect if I have it selected um, so I'm gonna click on my spot healing brush again and go down here I'm just gonna fix this shadow a little bit because it it came out a little bit funny but that looks good all right so I have I'm on step six now it's this eyebrow step six is a little bit challenging um, we're going to use our clone stamp, so uh, that's 10 tools down. And you can right click and you want to make sure it says clone stamp, not pattern stamp. So we're going to click on our clone stamp. My brush is rather large. I'm going to go up to my options bar and lower it. And that looks about right. I'm going to actually use my right bracket on my keyboard to make it about the same width as the, um, the same width as the, as the eyebrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my uh, my uh, Alt key on my keyboard or on my Mac. It's an option, and I'm going to line up my cursor, my little target, with the edge of the eyebrow. So right on the edge of the eyebrow, and I clicked. So now, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the face. I'm going to figure out where the eyebrow should go. And I'm just gonna paint it back in. So as I paint, you should see a little X tracing the eyebrow. So if you look up where number six is, you see the little X. And what I'm doing is I'm just painting that, that eyebrow in. So it didn't come in nicely because I think my brush was a little bit too large, so I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna control Z. And I'm gonna make my brush smaller this time. So I'm just going to paint that eyebrow right back in. And now she has a nice eyebrow. This is the one, um, it's a little bit challenging to figure out where it needs to go. But um, I think it came out nicely. Again, I'm going to go back to my clone stamp, I mean my uh, spot healing. And I'm just going to clean up right here on the above the eyebrow where I got a little bit of the line. So make it look nice again. Uh, so that was six. So number seven, we're going to get rid of the whole background, I think. So seven, oh, we're going to, we're going to highlight the hair. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to the select menu. We're going to load a saved selection. So pay attention to the wording that I'm using. It's called a saved selection. So anytime you see saved selection, you're going to go to select and then load select. And this one is going to be background. So I'm going to click background. And what that does is it selects the whole background. All right? So I selected the whole background. And I'm going to fill that with a color. So to get the color, I'm going to go to my eyedropper, which is um, right above your, your spot healing. And I'm just going to select the color in the background that I like. And I could paint it all in one color or I could kind of fade in the areas. But what I really want to do is I want to get rid of this uh, picture frame and the eyebrow and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to fill. I've already selected my color with my eyedropper. 
and this is the foreground color the tan color is in the foreground the white is in the background so i'm going to select tan for my foreground color and click ok and i just fill that with foreground color um the tan color that i have and because i had already selected it i didn't have to worry about going back and fixing the hair it's not the best but it looks kind of nice going around um so my eyebrows gone the picture frames are gone so now i'm on number eight Number eight is a little bit challenging. I wanted you guys to figure out how to do this, so I'm gonna skip number eight, try to remove the red nose in one step, all right? Um, and number nine, I don't know what number nine is, so I think that was to fill it with the color. And so there is no number 10. So number 11 is to turn off the numbers so to turn off the numbers, I want to go back over to my layers panel again, find my different layers, and I'm just going to click numbers off, and that's it. So once you figure out how to do the nose, I'm going to do it real quick. I'm going to pause it. So once you, uh, once you do the nose, uh, you're all done. So what I want you to do is I want you to save this as a JPEG. So we're gonna to go to File, we're gonna to go to Save As, and you're gonna choose JPEG, which is the first one, JPEG, and I'm gonna save it to um, my student drive. I don't have it on this computer, so I'm just gonna click Save. And well, actually put your initials on it. So manipulation face underscore, and then your initials, mine are NT, and I'm gonna click Save. All right, and then click OK. And that's it. So I'm going to upload that file to Canvas and I should be all done. All right. Well, I hope you learned how to use a few of the manipulation tools a little bit better. Your saved selections. So go to load, save selections. And also your windows to get things open and closed. Layers. And uh, I think layers was the only one we used. Oh, and your option bar. So remember your option bar changes contextually based on what you have selected. So every time I click something new, my option bar changes at the top to uh to represent that tool all right that's it